What if I told you Google just ran a quantum algorithm that no supercomputer on earth could match, and that this time, we could actually verify it worked? This isn't hype, it's history. Google's new Willow quantum chip and algorithm called Quantum Echoes just achieved the world's first verifiable quantum advantage, performing a task 13,000 times faster than one of the most fastest supercomputers ever built. Let's unpack what that means, how we got here, and why this moment could change the future of computing and even AI. Back in 2019, Google's first quantum processor, Sycamore, showed that a quantum computer could solve a problem that would take classical machines thousands of years. It was groundbreaking, but the problem itself wasn't very useful. Since then, the biggest challenge has been error correction. Quantum bits or qubits are extremely fragile. Even tiny vibrations or temperature changes can flip them. Then came Willow, Google's 2024 breakthrough chip. It dramatically reduced error rates, solving an issue that's been haunting researchers for over 30 years. That set the stage for today's historic result, a verifiable quantum advantage. Before we go further, let's break this down simply and understand what exactly are we talking about. A normal computer, like the one you're watching this on, uses bits that can either be 0 or a 1. A quantum computer uses qubits, which can be both 0 and 1 at the same time, thanks to a property called superposition. Now imagine flipping two coins. A normal computer would check one combination at a time. Heads heads, heads tails, tails heads, tails tails. A quantum computer, it can explore all four at once. When you scale that up to dozens or hundreds of qubits, the number of possibilities it can explore explodes far beyond what any supercomputer can handle. We're building quantum computers because certain problems like simulating molecules, materials, or even parts of the brain are quantum by nature. Classic computers can only approximate them, but quantum ones can model them directly. That's why every big tech company from Google to IBM to Microsoft is racing towards this future. Now that you know what makes quantum computers special, let's talk about quantum echoes, the algorithm behind this new milestone. Here's a simple version. Imagine you're looking for a shipwreck in the ocean. Traditional sonar might give you a blurry outline. Quantum echoes? It's like reading the ship's nameplate underwater. The process goes like this. Google sends a signal through the 105 qubits on the Willow chip, then slightly disturbs one of them. After that, they reverse the signal's evolution and listen for the echo that bounces back. If the echo matches expectations, it means the system evolved exactly as predicted. It's called quantum verifiable because you can repeat it and get the same result on another quantum computer, something that's never been done before. This is where history was made. For the first time, a quantum computer ran a verifiable algorithm that outperformed classic supercomputers, and not by a small margin, 13,000 times faster. This isn't just speed for speed's sake, it's precision and reproductibility. It's like going from we think this worked to we know this works and you can check it yourself. That's the foundation for building reliable, scalable quantum systems. Google didn't stop there. In collaboration with UC Berkeley, they ran another experiment, basically using the quantum computer as a molecular ruler. They simulated two molecules, one with 15 atoms and another with 28, using quantum echoes to analyze their structure. The results matched traditional nuclear magnetic resonance data and even revealed new information classical tools couldn't detect. That's massive for chemistry, material science, and even drug discovery, where understanding molecular structure is everything. So why go through all this trouble to build a computer that's so complex? Because quantum computing has the potential to unlock discoveries that normal computers never could. Think about designing better batteries, finding new cancer drugs, understanding climate reactions at the molecular level, or creating materials for clean energy and fusion. Quantum computers could simulate those systems perfectly, helping us solve problems that affect everyone. That's the long-term vision, using the weirdness of quantum mechanics to push human progress much further. We are also in the early stages of a quantum computing roadmap. According to Google, we're currently at milestone 3, where they have built a long-lived logical qubit. Next up, we have milestone 4, 5, and 6. 
Milestone 4 is about creating a logical gate, followed by scaling up the engineering, and at last, Milestone 6 is a large error corrected quantum computer. The future of quantum computing is still on the way, however, hitting Milestone 3 today means a huge step forward. Now here's where it ties back to AI. AI keeps getting smarter because our hardware keeps improving. First we have CPUs, then GPUs, then TPUs. Quantum computing could be the next big leap, giving AI the power to model complex systems, predict outcomes, and process massive datasets instantly. And it's not just one way. AI is already being used to train and stabilize quantum computers like Willow, learning how to reduce noise and correct errors in real time. So AI is helping quantum computers get better, and one day, quantum computers might return the favor by running AI models that are far beyond what's possible today. Imagine a world where AI and quantum computing merge, AI to design experiments, and quantum to verify them. That's quantum native AI, and it's closer than we think. Now, as incredible as this sounds, we're still not at the stage where quantum computers are useful for everyday problems. This is what researchers call a scientific milestone, not yet a utility milestone. Here's what that means. Right now, Google's Willow chip can outperform supercomputers, but only on a very specific highly controlled algorithms like quantum echoes. It's not solving real problems or running AI models or optimizing things like logistics or business problems yet. Think of it like the Wright brothers' first flight. It proved flight was possible, but it didn't carry passengers or cargo. Quantum computers today still have limited qubits, short coherence times, and rely on extremely precise lab conditions. They're also not error corrected at scale, which is what Google's next big milestone is all about. So while this breakthrough doesn't mean quantum computers will replace your laptop or train ChatGPT tomorrow, it does mean we're finally crossed from theory into something that works and can be verified. It's the first small step toward the moment when quantum becomes super practical. So in just six years, Google went from proving quantum computers can outperform classical ones to proving they can do it verifiably with results that actually matter. We're still early, but this is the kind of moment that future generations will look back on as a real start of practical quantum computing. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't just leave a like, drop a comment and tell me, what do you think? Will quantum computing and AI merge into one field, or are we still decades away? I read every comment, and your take might even shape the next episode. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this video with someone who geeks out over tech as much as you do. Because the quantum AI era is just the beginning, and we'll be here to break it all down, one discovery at a time. This is the universe of AI, and I'll see you in the next one.